Hey guys, this is Steven from XDA Android Developers. Um, today I'm going to show you the uh, Metamorph application running on my phone. Um, and one thing I want to point out is so while this was the application was initially designed by myself, um, the actual idea and the workings behind Metamorph is actually designed by me and another developer named Castro. Castro actually cross compiled the zip binary to run on our phones, which actually is what makes this whole process. Um, possible. So major props go out to Castro. Um, if you do reference this project in any posts or anything like that, make sure you also give credit to him um, because he is definitely do some credit um, for this project. So let's go ahead and take a look at into it. Um, one thing you need to make sure uh, when you're running this is that you have downloaded and explore from the market, which we have here. Um, a little bit later on, I will actually add a check to make sure that you have it before running Metamorph so I know that it works fine. This right here is the Metamorph application. We're going to go ahead and open it now on the phone. First thing it's going to do is start initializing. It's going to do some checks. Um, and it found here that uh, the zip binary is not found on the phone. Metamorph needs this to run. Would you like me to download it? Go ahead and select yes. Now you see it's not asking me for root access because I've already uh, N put it so that it always allows root access and I really recommend that it makes this whole process easier because I have to ask for root access quite a lot because um, I have to send commands back and forth to the shell to make this possible so right now it is downloading the file the zip file this can take just a little bit on my phone because uh, I am still working with an edge connection here unfortunately here in Pensacola, Florida, they don't have 3G connection yet. Though I hear it's coming soon, but we'll see. We're just going to wait on this. Uh, another thing that uh, y'all didn't see when I first booted it up is uh, the initial dialog that you'll get telling you some information about the um, and some information about the Metamorph application, uh, but that only shows one time when you first install it, and it will not show back up afterwards. Um, so, uh, since I've used it quite a few times, it's definitely not going to show for me. Uh, another thing that I want to point out while waiting for this file to download is that I am actually running on this G1 um, Cyanogen 4.199. So this being quite an older Okay, so this check's done. So this being quite an older um, ROM, um, one of the big things that I want to point out to y'all is how um, how these themes can run on multiple ROMs, uh, cross platforms. Most of these themes that I'm going to apply were actually designed with the idea of them being used on you know more up to date ROMs like 1.6 or or um, uh, or the more recent Cyanogen ROMs, you know, 4.2 versions. Um, the button that I just clicked on just a moment ago was to actually pick a theme. This right here is the browser that I told you download and explore. Um, the first one, first theme that we're going to pick, I just need to show you, I need to make sure y'all pick an actual um, zip file, or else it'll tell you that that was incorrect. It's not a valid theme file. You need to pick another one. So. Make sure you pick a valid zip, a zip file. First one I'm actually going to do is the Soul Life Icon Pack. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It's going to tell me that it already exists because it does exist. I've already uh, have it on my phone, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, replace it. So it's going to delete that existing directory. It's going to take just a moment. And it's going to go ahead and unzip the new directory. And I mean, when I say that, I mean the, the uh, new theme. See here, the button says pick theme, existing theme. You can read those pretty well now. I'll show you existing theme in just a moment. So, here we are. We have uh, the, this is reading from the theme control file. These are all the different... Uh, sub themes are in here. You could apply them individually if you'd like just by clicking on one. It'll tell you what it is, where it's going to go. And you could hit apply um, or you can apply all. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply all. It's, it's a lot faster. 
So this one's going to take a, a little bit of time. This is one of 21. See, I must not have one of the files, so it's skipping it. Yeah, I don't have Android Log Collector, so it skipped it. And something just forced closed, but it's probably not due to the program. I have a, I have a lot of, well, I need to do a, a fresh install on this because I have some things from a different, uh, Oh, what did I say? I have um, some stuff on here that isn't quite right that I got from different ROM dumps that I've been messing around with. So I don't exactly have the smoothest running G1 ROM right now. We're on 10 of 21. Take just a moment. 